Kids and Cadets, welcome back to Tommy Time. Today I'm working on this Toro Recycler 675. This unit came to me in the baby load, which was six mowers that I picked up from a landscape company. They were all non-runners. I already went through the uh, Brute 675 in a previous video. I thought I'd look at this um, Kohler powered Turo and, and see what the deal is. So as you can see the carburetor is missing. And the other issue I saw with this one was the recoil spring was broken. So there was no way to turn this thing over. So I snatched a, another Kohler recoil off of a dead unit and I'll be able to attempt to start this. So the drive cable is broken on the handle and the safety brake cable is missing as well and the handlebar is missing that attaches to the handle. So I have a pair of vice grips opening up the safety brake mechanism so the coil will not um, kill the current. So there's a little bit of oil in it, not a heck of a lot, and I don't need gas since the carburetor's missing. The tank has drained out empty. So I'm going to remove the paper towel, give it a squirt of happy juice, and see if this thing fires off. You don't need the carburetor in place because when you're testing with happy juice, you're bypassing the carburation and squirting directly into the intake. So that should be enough. Let's uh, give it a tug and see what happens. Okay, fired off. Didn't sound too bad. No knocks and banging with this. So this has potential. I'm kind of curious what the deal with this thing was. If the recoil was bad, they should have replaced the recoil. My assumption is the recoil spring broke and then they decided to steal the carburetor for another project. It would have been a whole lot cheaper replacing the, the uh, recoil. So, I'm kind of questioning this landscaping company. If it's a small two or three man operation, they can't afford to be buying new equipment all the time. You got to keep your old stuff rolling and maximize profit. So, we have uh, four other units to check out. Maybe they're all going to be simple fixes. So these uh, carburetors are relatively cheap for these Kohlers, but I may have one in my stash and try to fit it onto this. All the linkages are still in place so I can just put another carburetor on this and go to town. Just by looking at the condition of the tread on the front wheel drive, the tread is awesome. The, the uh, tires hardly look used. That's a pretty deep tread. A little bit of rust under the belt cover 
there, but that's not an issue. And looking at the engine block, it looks relatively clean. It doesn't look like a bad unit. I'm not sure the age on it. I couldn't find a date code on this particular Kohler. I'm guessing it's got to be an 8 to 10 year old unit that hadn't seen a lot of action. just by the physical condition of it. So there you have it. Thanks for coming out and checking out this Toro 675 recycler with me today. So this is a unit that I see has some potential for rehabbing. Thanks, and I'll go through the other four units I got with the baby load, and I'll take you along, and we can find out what those four will need for rehab. I appreciate you coming out today, and come back and see me. Having a great day here in southwest Florida, 70 degrees, perfect weather to be outside tinkering.